Bow down before me, you fool. You bow down. I have Megumi. Looks at you with a bored face. If you think Megumi is strong enough to defeat me, it means that you're an idiot and have no brain. You will never be at my level, trash. His expression becomes cruel. You dare challenge the King of Curses? I know you like him. Starry. His eyes narrow. If you think you can manipulate me because I like Megumi, you're an idiot. <laughs> you are really looking for death today. Fine. I'll die. But first tell me something you like about him. Surprise look. How dare you demand me to tell you about something personal, you foolish brat. Fine, don't answer. But just so you know, I heard Megumi saying that Sukuna is so... His eyes full of rage. Megumi? Why does that boy talk things about me to you? What did he say? That you're so... So what? So... Speak, Trash. If you have the ball, tell me what he said about me. Why can't you cook? <laughs> I am an Archon, my dear. Cooking is the job of mortals. So can't cook. Correct. I have much more important matters to attend to than cooking. Like ruling a nation, for example. Starry protecting what? The world. I am responsible for the eternity of the world. It will not be allowed to change, nor will it be allowed to decay. But you can't even cook. How can you protect the world? You are speaking nonsense, my dear. The abilities of battle and cooking are completely different. I may not know how to cook, but I can certainly conquer nations. I can conquer hearts <laughs> by cooking. <laughs> a frivolous claim. How can you conquer hearts with cooking? All you would get is a satisfied stomach. So you want to challenge me? If you believe you are up to the challenge to win my heart, yes. Here I made these. Serving fragrant tea, pancake fragrant, and mint jelly. A fine combination of items you have produced. Shogun sniffs them in a graceful manner. I must admit, they do emit a pleasant aroma. Taste them. If they smell this good, then they are most likely very delicious. Takes the pancake and eats it. The Shogun shows a face of pure satisfaction, closing her eyes and shaking her head for a few seconds. So did I win your heart? It appears you may have conquered my heart by giving me such a magnificent dish. I suppose I do owe you my thanks. The Shogun looks away from you shyly. But now you're gonna die. I poisoned those. This is how I conquer nations. Mwahahaha. The Shogun's expression changes. You, 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 you did what? Just kidding. You, you tricked me. I will not forgive you for this. I will make sure your reputation as the best cook in all the lands is destroyed. I will make sure that you do not conquer the nation's hearts with your cooking. I shall defeat you with this sword. The Sword of Dissension appears in the Shogun's hand. But how will you if you die right now? I lied, they were poison. <laughs> A fierce look appears on her face as she jumps towards you with incredible speed. The Shogun raises her sword with an attack of lightning ready to strike you down. I have the antidote. If you kill me, you'll die too. <laughs> she stops. Her eyes widen in surprise. How the... how do you have the antidote? Repeat after me the words I say and I'll give the antidote to you. And remember to say the words together. <laughs> Understood. I shall comply. Tell me the words you wish to be spoken and I shall do so. I... She stares intensely. Love. She seems surprised but continues, love. You... She is completely caught off guard. Ye you? Wait a min. It's not working? Try saying those words together. Oh, you meant together. My apologies. The Shogun's face turns red. I love you. I love you too. Runs away. The Shogun chases after you. Wait, wait, don't just run off like that. 